D. Bailey with another alcohol review. And I am doing this on my Chromebook. Let's set that up. Let's see what's happening. All right. There we go. Okay. So I have a new subscriber or who suggested last night after watching my review that I do a review of Dickel 12. And I can tell you that I went there to the liquor store looking for Dinkle 12, and I did not find it. But there was Dinkle 8. And I can tell you that the subscriber that suggested I do Dinkle 12 was Jeff Knapp. He said, or wrote, rather... That I should uh, review this and I will not be disappointed. This is after you saw my Jack Daniels. So when I went to the store, I was looking in the aisle. And I can tell you that I really wanted to find this Dickle 12. And I didn't. So what I did is I I brought Dickle 8. And this is a Tennessee Sour Mash Whiskey, number 8. It is a classic recipe. And in this recipe, it says it is distilled and charcoaled, mellowed at George Dinkel and Company. 40 percentage of alcohol by volume, a.k.a. 80 proof. And on the side of this bottle, there is a story. There is a story on the side. Let me give you a little shot for bottle and alcohol recognition, George. So when I found out I was looking for Dickel, it is George Dickel. George Dickel. Okay. 1870 is the year. And I don't know. What this dude says is, uh, well, more than a century has passed. It's inspired, and early on, George discovered that whiskey made in the cold winter months tasted smoother. So today, we follow the tradition by chilling the whiskey before filtering it through. Check this out. Sugar maple charcoal. Sugar maple charcoal. That's what they filtered this through. So they think it's unique. Uh, let's see if I agree. And you can see a picture of this dude on the side of the bottle. That's what I'm assuming George Dinkle looks like. See, he has a beard. He is part of the beard gang and a stash, and his hair is parted to the side. And it is rather long for today's standards, but it is what it is. <clears throat> so let me check it. It says another thing on the side of the bottle. Classic number eight. Our class A is aged to perfection in charred, charred white oak casks, creating our signature balance of flavors featuring aromas of aged oak and caramel. Some people say caramel. I say caramel. Really not. But tonight, caramel, 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 caramel. Tomato, tomato, caramel, leading to a smoky finish with hints of maple, which I can absolutely anticipate because it says maple sugar charcoal filter and buttered corn. Oh, my gosh. If this whiskey tastes like buttered corn, oh, this is going to be my new go-to, even over Elijah Craig and Johnny Walker Black, for those that watch who have seen the videos of Johnny Walker Black. Because after watching Ray Donovan, Johnny Walker Black is like my thing, you know? That, JB, all that kind of stuff. Anyhow, let's give this a try. And I will tell you, I did not pre-open this. In a couple of reviews ago, I had difficulty with opening of a bottle. And I hope tonight is not the same. Or this evening, rather. I don't know. Anybody watching the Preakness? I watched the Preakness. The horse I betted on lost. What is it? Bravazo. Bravazo came in. I don't know. What was it? Uh, I think he came in second. Didn't win. I didn't do win plays to show. I did uh, win. Oh, there's a 
a cork in it. Let's smell this. It's not Holly Aroma, but I can tell you it doesn't smell like JD. Let's give it a two second pour here. One, one thousand, two, one thousand, three. Oh, I did three. Anyhow, so let's try this. All right. That didn't work out right. I see this is on a box. What I'm having this on is a box, and a box is flimsy, and it's making the stuff go centered in. So when I did that, it bounced off, and I was trying not to have it, I don't know, go down. Anyway, see that? Boom, boom, boom. See, it goes. It moves. It's flexible. So let's, let's smell it. Oh, Aaron Gray, what's good? Hey, Aaron, I'm fine. How are you? Johnny Walker Red, if you haven't tried black, you're not really trying. Give it a try, Aaron. Johnny Walker Black is a good stuff. And I have, what is that? Uh, El Tor 86. Thanks for subscribing. I appreciate it. And, you know, you can make a comment on what you want me to drink next and or I'll review, I should say. It's not just drinking. It's tasty. Swishing around your mouth and having an experience here. This is a refined art. Yeah, you'll try. Let's smell. Well, now, this is not highly aromic, but I'm interested in this maple sugar charcoal. Let's give it a go. Oh. Oh. Now. I can tell you this is a smooth, smooth, smooth whiskey. The sour mash, it does not have that little aftertaste kick spice that JD has. I would say this is, it is not as spicy, but it does not mean that this does not have flavor because flavor it does. Let me give it another go. Oh my gosh. Oh, I can, oh, I think it was smooth. Now, um, I can tell you that last night with the Red Dog, I highlighted how light, or no, two nights ago, how light it was. This is not as light, but this is not thick. It is not hard to get down. This is a good whiskey. Maybe because I love whiskey. Oh, my gosh. I love this. I give this a thumbs up. I will definitely buy it again. I can tell you that I've never even heard of this. Sector 001, how are you tonight, my friend? Thank you for watching. Oh, OJ for hire. Does it have the banana like the JD single barrel? No, I don't taste any banana, if that's what you mean. No, I don't see any banana. Um, not at all. This is really smooth. It's nice. It's, it's not like one of the spice ones. For those who have tried Johnny Walker, but Johnny Walker spice, you can taste that. Char barrels, oak, 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 boom, spice, boom. Swallow, kick. This isn't it. This is like smooth and mellowed, I should say. It is a smooth and mellow taste, like it says. Let me see if I can taste the. Uh, what did I say I'm going to taste here? Um, what did I say? Caramel and hints of caramel and stuff. Oh, caramel and buttercorn, maple and buttercorn. Let me see if I taste the maple to buttercorn. Oh, my God. You know what? I do taste the maple. Buttercorn is a, is a stretch for me. In Sector, if Ronald the Riot would like to do a, uh, I, a simulcast, I don't even know how to do that. Like, check it out. My son is 13, right? He knows how to edit and do stuff I don't know how to do. I don't know how to do any of that. How would you even start single casting anything? Anyway, I'll do it. Maybe Ronald the Riot, if he's watching or has watched, can let me know how to do a single cast. Sure. Is it very expensive? All right. This was uh, $25, Aaron Gray. $25 a bottle. 
but you won't be disappointed, and it's every bit worth it because it's 40 percent of alcohol by volume, and it is smooth as hell. It is mellowed. You can taste that maple. I can't taste the butter corn. It's a stretch, but this is a fantastic whiskey. I'll say this is one of my favorite. If you want spice, do JJD. If you want spice and flavor, do Elijah Craig. That's a bourbon. This is a whiskey. If you want smooth maple, you want smooth, sweet, mellow, get this. Oh, my goodness. This is a sleeper. I really thank you, Jeff Knapp, my subscriber, for suggesting I do 12. And 12 could only be maybe better. Maybe better. I don't know. So, Jeff, I thank you for the suggestion because I've never even seen this, heard this before. I think the 12, the label is like white and stuff. This is black and whatnot, but, you know, the chard is what it is. You know, chard means they, I guess they burn that stuff, sit it in there, all that kind of stuff. But, no, this is good stuff. And I thank you all for watching and subscribing. And I, I apologize that you may not be able to see me. Yeah, there you go. You may and maybe a little darker. This is not my S9. I have a light and all that kind of stuff. But this is so much easier. I don't have to worry about the the, the phone flipping over and stuff like that because someone made a comment once. My camera sucks, and it may. But it says it says on my Chromebook this is 1080i or P, whatever it may be. But maybe it's not. But it says when I upload, I'm in HD. But maybe you can't see my wrinkles. But anyhow. So this is a good whiskey. Let's give my third impression. Wow. Oh, my gosh. It is just like poetry in motion. It is poetry in motion. When it just like goes down. You know how some alcohols you drink that are like 40% whiskey. It's not your first sip. It's like you got to like. Because it almost puts that gag reflux. Because when it goes down, it's burning that layer of cells going down your esophagus. For me, it did not do it. And for that, I'm grateful and thankful that it didn't feel that way. It is not that burn there. This is nothing but pure smoothness. I'm not seeing any more chats. But it says I have four people that are watching. How do I do this? Participants. Do I have participants? Oh, okay. Aaron Gray, OJ for Hiring Sector 101 are here. I thank you for sticking with me, and I appreciate all that. How do I do this? What do I do this? Pop House? What is that? All right. I don't know what I did. I did something. Uh, oh, there it is. Watch. I'm going to type you something. Can I do that? I'm going to type something. Like I said, this tech stuff. Thanks for watching. Wow, this is fantastic. I think it's going to go through. Do you see my crown? I added to our chat. I added to my chat for the very first time I've ever done that. I've never done it. I've never done a live chat, but now I know how to do it. Please don't be disappointed. But, uh, oh, sector one. Thank you. I'm going to write that. And I do remember how to type a little bit from Mrs. Lachinsky in high school. And, uh, and, co and, and when I worked, when I started work 17 years ago, I got this uh, program called Typing Tutor. It told me to slow down. Anyway, so um, if I encourage any bourbon whiskey drinker to try this Dinkle, because I've never heard of this mess, or even ventured to even try it before, my subscriber, Jeff Knapp, K-N-A-P-P, -P, suggested I try Dickle, Dickle 12. And this is number eight. You figure that as time goes by, things get better. So we'll see about that. I don't know. So... Uh, if you like the video, click the like button. And what I'll do again is give you a visual for bottle and alcohol recognition. There you have it. I recommend you give it a try if you want something smooth. Aaron Gray is buying tonight. Thank you, Mr. Gray. 
buy it tonight. And if you do buy it tonight and taste it, please leave a comment on the bottom here. Let me know how you like it. Oh, no, no. Okay. Oh, Jay for hire. I wasn't suggesting it was an age. It, like some do. It says recipe number nine. So I want to see recipe number 12, too. Maybe that recipe is even more fantastic. And Zensei Moon. Oh, wow. Keep it pimping. I, hey, I'll do what I got to do. You know, it is what it is. Thanks for watching. Zensei Moon, are you subscribed? If not, please do. More the merrier. We have a party on here every week. Sometimes twice a week. Wait till the summer comes. It is what it is. It is on. Sometimes I have shots and videos by the fire. I have a fire pit in the back. I do stuff. I do a lot of stuff. Some people like it. Some people don't. Some people have negative to say. Some people have positive to say. We're all about positivity here. Uh, good. So if you haven't subscribed yet, click the subscribe button. And when you do, please click the bell because you will get a ding every time I film a new video and a live one. Now, if you all like my live videos, let me know because I will make sure they happen more often. I can do them maybe Friday night at 8. Friday night at 8. Oh, my gosh. Aaron Gray was my little – I don't have one yet. I do not have a normal uh, live screen live stream time, but if you want to, I can make one. As long as I have people watching, that's all I want. So I, mean, I could do a Friday night. Usually it's good for me. Yes. Kovacic VS, you saw that. See that? Yeah, I did all that. I have about over 370-something videos. Essentially, if you want to, you can watch me from the morning when you wake up to the nighttime when you go to bed, and you'll see me all day. And then you'll meet my brother Rufus, who I have a fantastic time with. He is a very funny man and often not prepared for what I say to him. And I have to tell you, none of it is scripted. It's not what I do. No, man. I have sector. I have no Christian brothers XO left anywhere. Sector, where do you live? Well, you don't have to tell me what state, because in New Jersey is fine. If you can come to New Jersey, you can get some Christian brothers XO real easy. Florida, oh my gosh! Wow, interesting. No Christian brothers XO in Florida. It is in India all day. Aaron Gray, you're from India? Wait, Mr. Banks is on. Mr. Banks, and I saw your comment about Bud Select 55, and I will do a review of that, but, you know, none. Indiana. <laughs> oh, oh, my bad. Mr. Gray, Indiana. Wow, Florida, Indiana. Who wants to send Sector 001 some uh, Christian Brothers XO? I don't have any more. We can do that. So eventually, one day, I'd like to uh, have a streaming of me tasting different alcohols, maybe like at a, uh, what do you call it? Like a beer fest, a brewer fest, stuff like that. I love to do it live. And I would actually one day love to have some of my subscribers come and do it with me live and be on the channel. That would be a dream. Basically, what I'm Tennessee whiskey and a good cigar, Mr. Banks. Basically, what I'm saying is that one day when I do retire, which is probably like 10 years, I want to do these things, travel and do stuff like that. Because basically, uh, why not? What else am I going to be doing? Then tasting new things. If anyone that has subscribed to me tasted an alcohol called Malart, let me know how it tastes. I heard it's rough. But I want to do it live. I just can't find it. But I'll do it. I'll have to find it. So anyhow, click subscribe. Click the subscribe button if you like. If not, if you have more questions, you can ask them now. Wait. Aaron Gray's brother is tasting Millard. Really? And what, what did he say about that? Was it good? Mr. Gray? 
It is strong, Mr. Gray. <laughs> I heard it's like that's one of those uh, dare drinks. Dare drinks. I dare you to drink that. End of the night. Drink some Malort. Actually, what I'm going to do live for you guys one day is drink some absinthe. 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 And basically, it's alcohol that is distilled from wormwood. And they said it has psychotropic properties because this one man one day drank absinthe and killed his whole family. What they don't tell you is that he also drank a bottle of like whiskey that same day, too. So absinthe, I drank it before. It's like it's strong, like 100 proof or 150 proof, I think. He was almost in tears, Mr. Mr. Gray said. Green Fairy. So one day I'm going to do some absence. And when I do, I'll, I will do a post earlier, a few days before, letting you know when I'll do a live stream of reviewing absence. Because I want everyone to see it. I want everyone to be a part. So if I go psychotropic crazy, I want everyone to see it so you can be in.